Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive from Jonas, I'm the man on the stick. You are holding a stick in your hand, sir. We're playing Madden 20, it's San the... Francisco cool. for the nana nuts. Yep, as always, playing offense only, Sim in the D, using uh, some playbook, and uh, playing on professional difficulty. Professional. Yeah. There's an all-professional and then an all-Madden. There are. There is. There is definitely Madden. <laughs> there's, there's some maddening going on. Yeah. Do you have another topic for me today? You have some I stuff? do, Joni. <clears throat> I have to clear my throat. This one's a little bit more on the uh, like serious oh, side. Oh, gosh. Last so, one's all about throwing up. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's not serious. I mean, that's serious in its own right. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, was, it was funny. I enjoyed it, especially when you force somebody to throw up. I do. <laughs> Forcibly against <laughs> Without her knowledge, go, go. Jonas is going to walk. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to do it. Yeah, don't go. Yeah, don't go. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Jonas, I was looking on Reddit the other day. Okay. And I saw something about uh, Beauty and the Beast that w you might find a little disturbing. The live action or the cartoon or? The story. It's a weird story. I, don't, I already find it disturbing. So Beauty and the Beast is basically, uh, how does it go, dude? It's like she gets... She has to go marry the beast. She's just putting it like an arranged marriage by. Oh, I don't know. All I know is it's like a human trying to have relations with a ma animal. No, man. it's not. He's an animal man. <laughs> Either way, I don't really know how Belle ended up in the house, but forcefully against her will is my guess. Apparently, she was terrified of the beast, and then she finds out he's not such a bad guy. She meets a cast of characters, one being a teapot and a, a candlestick. candlestick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she start, she's on hallucinogens. Yeah, she's on hallucinogens. But he gives her he gives her mushrooms. Jesus. And she she's, falls in love with him. She's really just in a padded room with a needle in her yeah, arm. Yeah, what's the uh, what's that called where, you're, where you're, you fall in love with your captor? That is Stockholm yeah, Syndrome. Yeah, so like he gives her mushrooms. She gets Stockholm Syndrome. They live happy all the way after with a talking tea kettle and candles. Anyway, sorry. No, that's no. you got it right, Jonas. That's the story. No. <laughs> The real story is, Jonas, is that that movie was made in the 1970s. Or not in the 1970s. The, the original story? This, it was made in the 17... It was made in 1740. I had to actually get the like date. Like the, uh, the base story about yes, it. Yes, the original story. Okay. And it was to kind of uh, help young girls ages 13 to 15 who were being set up in arranged marriages to adult men. Oh, so it was like it was like Epstein. No, it wasn't like Epstein. This was common practice in the 1740s. We're uh, talking like yeah, hundreds I got dark of years. Ages. Not essentially not dark ages, but yes, yeah, like that was commonplace. Where like yeah, they mm -hmm. would find like your teenage daughters would get like arranged and have children. You know, what I mean, you're only living to 30 anyway. Exactly. So like at 13, you're in your prime baby having years. Like it, it like in like <laughs> the 1730s. All right. Well. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about when a woman's in her prime baby. baby. No, I mean like the sign of the time. No, I got, I get you. I yeah. get it. I get what you're saying. But uh, that is the reason that the story was originally uh, even written, and, and eventually it was like kind of repurposed, to make it to teach them to focus on proper manners and how to be a good housewife. Right. More than uh, you know, trying to help them with the issue of Let's help them like adapt to being forced to marry a man <laughs> when they're against their will. It's like it's like Nazi propaganda for yeah. for uh yeah. And see, I was gonna save this for the podcast, but I was like, F it, I might as well talk about it." Here. Yeah, that's cool, man. So it it just kind of leads to like you know what else has has they have they been lying to us about all these years? Man? Everything. Because well, it was messed up back in the day, dude. It's crazy, dude. Like, uh, I was watching, like, and, and they're changing a lot of these stories to be more modernized because they realize that there's a lot going on. Oh, yeah. I mean, some of those things, even, like, I mean, old Disney, old, like, old Looney Tunes, they all were very um, sexist, racist, uh, 
because they because they're all kind of pop culture stuff so they adapted to whatever was normal at the time whether it's wrong, right or wrong now back yeah. then it was normalized so it was like and then they're going oh yeah we maybe should then they're that. going oh yeah oh yeah that's kind of messed up what we were talking about back then huh <laughs> We probably shouldn't talk about that like that. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, oh. But there, it's a slippery slope, Jones, because then you're going to have, you know, like, they're going to go crazy with it, man. You're going to have your your uh, your James Bond is going to be a female pretty soon here. Yeah. And that, you know, it just seems like everybody's trying to catch in on women empowerment. Yeah. And I don't I don't like that. Me neither. Or I'm like, all for women empowerment, but not the, the like the cashing in on it. Yeah, like cashing in on women and minority empowerment is, is not, that's not cool. Like, don't, don't don't make James Bond a black female just because you know you want to you want to be cool. You want to open up the audience of James Bond. God, well, when you say it like that, it makes it sounds like they're being brave, Jonas. They're not brave. All right. Why is it, why when they're <laughs> when they're marketing to make more money? That's not, that's not anything about being brave. Yeah, that's not brave. Yeah, they want to open up a wider audience. They're like, oh, we don't have enough okay, black okay. females watching James Bond movies. So we'll true. make her the lead character. Then they'll want to watch it because it's it's relatable at that point. Whereas previously it's been like a English white male who's then James Bond, who's Fair like enough. a womanizer and. <laughs> It's it's yeah man like I don't want to sound like a boomer but it, it's just crazy how everything's changing. Jonas, I was watching the video game awards. We can get into that too a little okay, bit. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I was I watching the video game awards and Harley Quinn disrespected the Joker, and that hurt my heart, wait, man. Wait, wait, wait. Like somebody dressed like Margot Robbie. Dressed yeah, like Margot Robbie, Robbie it was Robbie. talking to the Joker. She's sexy dude. Well, okay, I mean. <laughs> Saying. Keep keep it tucked in there, <laughs> Tiger, all right? Wanna... She was talking to Jared Leto as a joker? No, it wasn't Jared Leto. But I don't know. Either way, I saw I saw Harley Quinn basically tell the Joker to get get effed. Well, but that's like not their dynamic. Exactly, man! But it's the to- toxic femininity. If there's toxic masculinity, there's toxic femininity oh, as well. Yeah, and that's I mean, what made them toxic everything. Yeah, there's toxic uh, waste. <laughs> that too. Yeah. There is. I've seen it, Jonas. Yeah, you push them out of you every day. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't talk about what I push out of me, sir. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I uh it's like it's like okay, here's my if there's a if it's it's one thing to change a culture. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Based on like things that were like oppressive. Yeah. It's another to change things that have been set forever just because it's like jumping on the bandwagon of something that's becoming more open. Like the whole dynamic of Harley Quinn and Joker is that like mm-hmm. he turned her to that. It's a character, it's a fake thing to then turn her to empower her to like whatever, great and all, whatever, but it's it ruins like the trope of the what it is. Like yeah. it's no longer Joker and Harley, Harley Quinn at that point. But when, when you really get down to like uh, Harley Quinn's story, it, it <laughs> there is a little bit of like, what the hell were they thinking marketing this to children? Oh, it's very non-consensual. Because <laughs> no, hundred percent. She's mentally ill. She has an issue where she's like this. She has a prestigious job. She's like a uh, a psychiatrist or something, and then she fall in love with the Joker after like providing him psychiatric help because she's effed up in the head too. Right, but he he manipulates her. Yeah, and then he t- constantly mistreats her, and like uh, he'll constantly like uh, like for the better interest of himself, he'll just be like sorry harley i guess you get to die today and then if she's managed to survive he's like oh i'm sorry baby i didn't mean to almost get you killed my fault (laughs) i can understand why they want to change that dynamic i do because it's a little it's it's a it's a fantasy world it's like (laughs) it's a bad argument i mean truth I'm not saying it's a good one. I'm just devil advocating on it, you know? <laughs> All right, we're just going to make a fantasy comics. world where we don't like Jewish people. Wow. <laughs> it's a fantasy 
<laughs> yeah, I guess so. Wow, that's where you're going with it. Oh, no! I'm saying it's a bad <laughs> wow. Oh my god! Wow. What? Yeah, dude. It. Uh, I don't know. Nice <laughs> dive. I don't like. I. I didn't guess. I didn't realize that that was such a tragic dynamic between. The two. Yeah, man. They. <laughs> she is kind of effed up, man. But you know, comic books have always covered like uh, more adult tropes and stuff, man. There was. There's a lot going on. Yeah, underneath. I mean, there's. I mean, yeah. They. They very much show the the extreme sides of things in comics sometimes. And it doesn't make it right, but it's. But I mean, that's supposed. That's part of the reason that they vilified the Joker because he's like not a good. Person. Yeah, he's not a good man. He's mistreating women. He's doing crime. He's you know. Yeah, doing crimes. Those are bad. Yeah, dude. So I mean, I feel you. It's it's. Uh, but anyways, that hurt your heart that she like stood up to him. It did because you know total boomer in me. But I was like, yeah, come on, man. That's not true to the comic book. Right. But you know, I guess you have to come to terms with. It. You cannot stay true. I'm gonna take a time out because I accidentally did the wrong play. Yeah, what did you? What did we start out with today? Again? Uh, I was talking about Beauty and the Beast. Oh, that's right. Okay. But uh, did, did you see any more of the video game awards I did at all? I didn't even know they happened. Yeah, it happened. Uh, mother well, freaking year. Mother freaking, I don't remember. I, I was actually was watching it when when you came home today and we decided to record. Um, new Xbox, my man. Yeah. New Xbox. Are you going to get one so we can be the, one of the first streamers to do oh it? Oh, my God. Of course I'm going to get one, but that just means I have to get a job. You're just going to look lonely at the I ball. mean, you have a year. I think you'll have a job and have money by then. <laughs> well, I'm hoping so, fam. But <laughs> you got to go out and sell, sell, sell them cakes on the street to pay rent. <laughs> I will sell some cookies. I'll support you. I'll, I'll be your John. <laughs> there, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. That's the wrong. You obviously don't know what the hell I you're meant, I'll be your pimp, not your John. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> wrong, Whoa. the wrong thing. Oops. All right, see, you do know that a John is the person who <laughs> buys the I cookie. I know. I, I realized I misspoke. So you're going to be my number one customer <laughs> is what you were trying to say there. I got to get rent paid somehow. Oh, my God. Yep, there's our homoerotic <laughs> joke for the video. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I had to fit that in. Yeah, man, it's uh. No, nah, yeah, but I am gonna get the new Xbox. Apparently, it's not as big as I thought. They said it's approximately an Xbox controller wide and three Xbox controllers high. Um, but so there's no di it's diskless then. Uh, it's I don't know. See, now it looks just like a computer tower, so one would think that uh, it's Boom. probably just oh, a computer so tower. Good. And we're to the point where we're not even been trying to pretend like there's a difference. Between like an Xbox and a computer? Because it's, these are all basically like an Xbox One. They're all basically computers that are just specialized to gaming. They just run an application that plays games exclusively. Right. It's basically a Windows computer with it is. an Xbox it, operating system on it. It has a bunch of Windows apps on it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Already. Yeah, it basically runs a shell over top of Windows, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that's it, yeah. yeah. Instead of having a Windows operating system, it just runs, like, whatever application runs the video games, because that's all it really does. Right, yeah, exactly. It yeah. still has, like, yeah, I bet you, like, at its core, it still probably is, like, running on a Windows yeah. type. Yeah, and, and the lines have definitely been blur blurred lately between, like, PC gaming of telephone gaming mobile gaming i should say yeah, and, yeah. uh in and, and console gaming they're talking about there's integration for like uh player known battleground is all it's multi-platform uh, yeah there's a few games like rocket league right yeah but i mean you play even battleground you can even play on mobile Oh wow! And you can play against other people. I believe that's true. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. On your phone, I don't know, dude. Some people like mobile games. I'm not mad at mobile games because it's cheaper than a console. Get it? Yeah. Have you ever tried to play a real game on your phone? It's Absolutely hard. not. It's so hard. It really is. I downloaded like a, a first person shooter for like a phone like a long time ago. It was just like, oh, mm -hmm. kill zombies. And I'm like, this is impossible. I, is this hard. is not fun at all. It, it is hard. But I could see like somebody getting into it though. I honestly yeah, I, I guess could. so, man. If you want to sit at the bus stop and play PUBG. <laughs>
<laughs> well, see, the thing is, is that mobile gaming is really big in other cultures and, and not just ours. And we, we ain't the tastemakers out here. Right, right, right. Uh, in China, mobile gaming is a super big thing. Like people it, love uh, love handheld consoles and they love mobile gaming. In fact, I think uh, the Switch, Nintendo is working with somebody to get the Switch to be sold in Japan. Well, see, or in I China, think the Switch like that. Great, a mobile gaming system, perfect. But on your phone, <clears throat> it's not set up for that. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like I think the Switch is great because it's it's pretty compact and you, it has really good. It's you know it's nice, but you you not you not you don't you don't have one though. Right, I don't play games. <laughs> Fair enough. Anymore. <laughs> this is my gaming right here, dude. I don't have time. <laughs> you don't have time. You make time for what you want. Exactly. And I'm not making time for games. I'm making time for other things. <laughs> making time for sweet cookies. Yeah, dude, I have the bakery. Dude, you were constantly at the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> just live in the bakery. Just, just <laughs> gorging on Krispy Kremes. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> sometimes you gotta. I'm not mad at your Krispy Kreme cream intake, man. I'm not. It's yeah. fine. Take all the Krispy Kremes you want. Yeah, it's okay. I just don't have time for games right at the moment. I do like games. They're fun. <laughs> They're fun. The games are fun. I uh, like other games too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything super good that I, that I really want. New Final Fantasy is coming out. Oh yeah? Yeah. Like Final Fantasy Seven, the remake. Oh uh, you know what? I heard they took out the materia and everything. I'm not interested now. Uh, You're not interested, you have the best part of the whole dang game, dude. You don't know that for sure though. So the materia's gone? You don't know that. You I just... do for sure. They they stated it's out. No, well we'll see. Like how are you gonna remake a game and then change how the game worked? I don't know. It was just like one aspect it was of the, the game. Main part of the game. All of the stuff that was based on materia. Well, maybe they just changed it to a different name. They just call it balls you fill. So you guys. <laughs> no, we see, and this is let's, this. let's play it on the channel, and I'll watch you play it. I plan on playing it on the channel. No, oh, actually, that's actually not a bad idea. It comes out in March, I think. Yeah, and then I'll play. Uh, I'll play Resident Evil Three in April. It's, that's a good time to start because it's football season. It's, it's downtime for Madden. All right, so March is around the time where we. Lessen it down to maybe like one or two Madden videos. <laughs> Not, it'll just be the probably just my Browns. Oh, just the Brownies? Probably then, yeah, because we'll do. Uh, Aww. Yeah, man, we'll do Resident Evil and we'll do uh, Final Fantasy. I'm fine with that. I would love to watch Final Fantasy because it's a good game. I would love to play Final Fantasy because I've never played it. Oh, man, 7 was so good, dude. That's I what I hear. So much time playing 7. Oh, my God. That was like. I spent a lot of like time, a lot. I did every single thing you could do in that game. Every single, I 100%ed it. Really? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I played it. Whoo, too much. <laughs> too much? But I was like, it was before I drove, so like I was just at the house, I had nothing to do. So I just hung out and uh, played that <clears throat> forever. The end of the game was great, dude. We, when, when that game first came out, it was at a point where there was not a lot to do in any way. Yeah, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was like pre-internet. Whoa! Don't it, put my age out there. It was pre-internet, though. I know, but don't put my age out there. You yeah, just, man, it was, uh, you, you it, was, it was pretty sweet, though. It was, it was a good game, man. It's a really good game. I can't think of any games I've enjoyed like that. I mean, God of War... Borderlands 2. I played like that. Yeah. That game. Yeah, that game was really good. Yeah. Uh, I love all the Resident Evil games. I played Resident Evil 1 a lot. Resident Evil 3, Jonas. Wait, dude. I was just talking about it two seconds ago. I know. Dude, I'm so pumped. I can't wait for Resident Evil 8, to be honest. Like, 3 is good because it's going to be a remake. It'll be fun. But 8 will be like... That, going back to that 7 style first person. Like, dude, that was so good. Oh, my God. I want to play Resident Evil 7 again. I don't remember it. I want to, like, re-record it because we were trash then. <laughs> re-record it. No. We could. We could play through it again. Maybe people watch it the second time. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, the, you guys already have? Oh. Yeah, we redid it. Well, I, we have all, I have all the Resident Evil games now. Oh, crap. All right. That is all the time we have for today's game. Please make sure to like and subscribe.
If you have not done so already, if you have done so already, just uh, go to another video and like that. Send it to your friends. Like another video at random. Yeah, any of them. All right. But, but uh, for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out. Hey, why?